Hello everyone, today we are going to do a problem based on strain energy. Let us read the question one time. A beam 4 meter in length is simply supported at its ends and carries uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter over the entire span. Determine the strain energy stored in the beam. E is equal to 200 gigapascal and I is equal to 1440 cm power 4. The length of the beam is given as 4 meter. The beam is carrying UDL of 5 kN per meter over the entire span. Now let us convert the units. Let us keep all the units in meter and kN. The moment of inertia is given. It is 1440 cm power 4. But we have to convert into meter power 4. We know that 1 meter is equal to 1 by 100 centimeter. So we have to divide 1440 by 100 power 4. When we do that, we are getting 1440 into 10 power minus 8 meter power 4. The Young's modulus is given as 200 giga Pascal. We know that 1 giga is equal to 10 power 9 and Pascal is Newton per meter square. So 200 giga Pascal is equal to 200 into 10 power 9 Newton per meter square. The unit of the load is given as kilo Newton per meter. So let us keep all the units in kilo Newton. So we have to convert Newton per meter square into kilo Newton per meter square. 1 kilo is equal to 10 power 3 or 1000. So 200 into 10 power 9 by 1000 we will get 200 into 10 power 6. In this way, we can make the unit into kilo Newton per meter square. Now, let us calculate the reactions. In this beam, we are having symmetrical loading conditions. The UDL 5 kilo Newton per meter is acting for the full span. So, it is very easy to calculate the reactions. The reactions RA and RB will be equal to the total load divided by 2. The total load in the beam is 5 into 4 because when the UDL comes, we have to multiply the load into distance to get the total load. So the total load by 2, we will get RA and RB which are equal to 10 kN. We know the formula for strain energy due to bending. U is equal to 1 by 2 EI integration of m square dx. For calculating this, we have to make section in the beam. In this beam, UDL is acting constantly for the whole length. So only one section is enough. We can make the section anywhere in the beam. The limits for the integration will be 0 to L. I have made the section randomly here at the distance of X from the point A. In this section, we have to calculate the moment. We have to calculate the moment from the point A. In this case, we are moving right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anti clockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction 10 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive, and the distance is x, so 10x. The UDL 5 kN per meter is acting in the anti clockwise direction towards the section, so it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to take the distance and distance by 2. So x into x by 2. Finally, we are getting m is equal to 10x minus 2.5x square. In the strain energy formula, we can apply the value of m. Also, we can apply the limits 0 to L. In this beam, the length is 4 meter, so 0 to 4. Now, we can make the integration. We can make the integration either manually or in the calculator. If you do the integration in the calculator, we will get the answer directly. If you do not know how to use calculator for integration, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video for getting ideas how to make the integration in the calculator. But I have done manually also. Here we can apply a minus b the whole square formula a minus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Using the formula, we will get this. Then we can integrate. When we integrate x square, it will become x power 3 by 3. 
when we integrate x power 4 it will become x power 5 by 5 when we integrate x cube it will become x power 4 by 4 after that we can apply the limits no need to apply the lower limit because when we apply the lower limit is 0 the whole term will become 0 so no need to apply and waste the time only apply the upper limit instead of x we have to apply 4 after the calculations we are getting 213.33 now let us apply the values of e and i the values of e and i are given in the question we can apply them finally we are getting u is equal to 0 0.03703 kilo newton meter we know that 1 kilo is equal to 1000 we can multiply with 1000 and we are getting in newton meter in the question we have been asked to find out the strain energy we have got it it is equal to 37.03 newton meter or 37.03 joules because 1 newton meter is equal to 1 joule if this question is asked in two mark questions or objective type of questions we can apply the formula in the formula we can apply all the values finally we are getting the same answer 37.03 newton meter now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video